So in this video I just want to cover the generation of water in Unreal Engine. You can see I have the water here in the scene and in fact I want to show you that this started in just a test bed scene. There's the water there. I create a master water material and then uh, variations of that through a material instance just like we've done elsewhere. Here in this scene I came in, right clicked, asset and migrate. I say okay I'm gonna bring the master material and its two noise maps. I say okay. Then here I'm in my workflow file in my content. So this is the, the, the working file I'm in and this will migrate everything across for me so that I can jump here and find those same things in this folder, in this, in this new project. This material is fairly complex but it was generated through um, Unreal Engine's tutorial. They cover every little piece of it so if you're really interested in how this material works I suggest you go through Unreal Engine's wiki and, and read through it. Um, but if it's something you want to use, feel free to download this file. This file will contain all of my master materials. Um, anything that was an asset from Quixel or Megascan, something I've purchased, I've purged from this file. So I've replaced it with just a gray box, but it's something that you could start with and generate your own materials this way. This master material, like I said, is, is incredibly complex, but it, uh, it, it is broken down into a series of elements. Um, within this, we have lots of parameters to change. So here I can right click just like I've done everything else and create a material instance. This is for the Barcelona Pavilion and this material instance I'm controlling just a handful of parameters. Uh, I'm controlling the lighter and darker color, the large wave speed, the metallic color of the water, the opacity is almost, uh, you know, almost opaque, there's just a little bit of translucency. I've controlled the wave speed because these are just kind of standing pools, it's not the ocean or a river, um, so everything's really, really reduced. When I look at that here, you can see there's the water, and if I wanted to, I could increase, say, let's look at this wave speed and set it up to 0.5. Now it looks fairly unrealistic, so maybe 0.05. We can really slow that down. Mm, that, again, doesn't look all that realistic. I think somewhere around here looks about right. Um, we can also control the depth of the water. So let's see. Here, if I put a shallower depth, we see much more of the color. Um, if we do something deeper, um, you can see we see through it. The wave speed is controlled with that variable. The wave height we can increase this way, 0.5, something like that. And then you can see here in the model, um, we're able to get really nice reflections uh, and some refraction. Uh, we're able to see through in the, the, you know, the rocks and gravel underneath change. So let's swap this out with our Quixel gravel uh, and then we'll come back up on top. Uh, and I'm really liking that effect. So really short video, um, like I said, if, if you're interested, uh, I suggest that you go through and read the wiki on how this water is made. Um, but in the description of this video, or if you're on the website and the description above the video, um, will be a link to my master material file for Unreal Engine. This is currently in 4.20.3, um, so feel free to download that and use that uh, to help kind of move some stuff ahead for you.